Hey folks, welcome back to the home show. I'm Dewey. And I'm Eric. Hey, and we're back on location again. Yeah. What are we talking about today? Well, we're at that crazy guy's house again. Oh, that guy. <laughs> yeah, he's still out hunting somewhere. Yeah. You never know where he's at. Well, we're going to talk about, here's a, an example of a bookshelf frame. Mm -hmm. And it, as you can see back there, the bookshelf frame is uh, two by studs together every four foot or eight foot on center. And then you got your purlins that run in between there, so your wall is an actual five and a half inches thick. On edge, too, right? Yep, on yeah. edge. And that, that gives you a, a heck of a strong wall. Well, there's no insulation voids. Right. Um, which helps a lot, otherwise your insulation gets wet. Yep. That just makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, the, you can go four foot and eight foot on center to cut down on your rafters, right. and cut down on your labor, right. and cut down on your material cost. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways to, to put up a building like this. Yeah, and then you can stand your tin up um, vertical and screw to them purlins. Then on the inside, you got all kinds of options. Yep. You can put pine up, you can put sheetrock, uh, sheet you can put plywood up or anything. You can put steel, you, everything, anything. Yeah, so it's, it's ready to go. And all the different trims you can get. You know, we're here back again. I know we talked about this before, and, you know, the wainscot trim and the wainscot and these nice uh, garage door trims, you know, it, it comes with its own J-channel. Uh, the steel tucks in right behind it. God, it's just... It makes it easy for the contractor, yeah. the homeowner, and then maintenance. Yeah, absolutely. I've even gotten to the point where when we order uh, an entry door, I'll have uh, I'll clad the entry door the same color as this. I can get the steel company to bend up that trim. Yeah. And it slides right over the jam, and it's the same color. It looks like it belongs. So we, what we do is we do a lot of, lot of things, the extra mile that a lot of people don't seem to do around. Yeah, absolutely. What a, there's a big difference between a shed and a building. Yeah. I like buildings. Yeah. And then also on, on this one, the homeowner didn't want to pay the extra money for the concrete and he just wanted a storage area. So right. he did a pole shed. Post and frame and half. stud frame, yeah, it's half and half. Yep. Absolutely. And talk a little bit about the pricing on that. Well, with the, with the post frame, you don't have any uh, concrete for your footings, you know, and it can go up super fast. Zoom, zoom. Just a dirt floor. Just a dirt floor. You know, he's, he's got some storage in there. He's got some tractors and whatnot. And, yeah. and uh, you know, and, and, it, and it works out well for just leaving it the way it is. Or and then on the other side here, he's got, you know, concrete floor. And someday he's got intentions of heating it and insulating it and, you know, working out of it. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, and having a nice storage area. And, and that's that, that really worked out well with the bookshelf framing. You know, insulating is going to be a snap. Yeah. You know. And then, so... You know, and bookshelf and pole sheds basically are the same price per square foot. Pretty much. Except for bookshelf, you have to have a concrete floor. You got to have some footings there. You got to have a concrete floor. Yep. Yep. So, do it. and then you can always pour concrete in a pole shed later. Yep. And you can always do uh, post frame buildings with bookshelf also. Yep. Also. Yep. You know, so there's, like I said, there's lots of different ways of putting these up. And you know, it's, it's not too late. To get it done yet this year? No, oh, no, there's people digging into December. Oh, heck yeah. Sometimes in January even. Yep, absolutely. If the if you know you're going to do it, you can get the pole set, you can cover it up so it doesn't freeze too hard. The contractors, they've all got that uh, equipment for sawing through that frost and getting that building up and good. And, yep. and a lot of times, sometimes you might even be able to get some you know, pretty good deals too. Yeah. Number prices are down. Yep. Interest is way down. It's a good time to do it. Sometimes contractors are looking for work, you know. Sure. It's a great time to do it. So if you're looking to put up a building, come see us. We'll help you out. We'll help you out with uh, finding a contractor who's, who's good at what he does and uh, get it done for you. Even We might even hook you up with a bank. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it, yeah. <laughs> so remember, folks, I'm Dewey. And I'm Eric. And he's the king. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.